Yeah. Namaste. Uh, my name is Dhrvagiri and I born here, Saura. Um, of course, my background, my family is farmer and I used to do farming myself. Before, I couldn't even speak one single word English and I learned my English in the restaurant. I dropped out the study and I went to this restaurant to work and I become waiter. I did waiter seven years and I, I like to talk to people to learn English and then sometimes people tell me, um, you know, like uh, uh, they want to go, like example, jungle or whatever, they ask me and I help them and this, this is the way I slowly learn about the tourism. I collect some money even for the tips and, I, and then I was thinking about, okay, one day, oh, I have to go back to farming because my parents is farmer and I don't have good education. Oh, I have to do my own business. And seven years time, I meet people from um, the Netherlands. The couple, they come to eat a couple of days where I used to work. And then they, I don't know what they see my face and they ask me, hey, you look very smart. And they ask my dream and I told them one day I want to be my own boss. I want to run the hotel business and I want to help my community. And they ask me how much money you're looking for. And I asked them, yeah, if I have a 9,000 guilder, it was guilder, I can start my own business. And they took my address and they back to Netherlands. I could not believe they will send me money. I thought it's chat. And after nine months later, they send me the letter. And they tell me two things. They say, oh, you can go bar, have a good party with this money, or you can follow your dream. And I could not believe. I can do something. And somebody believe me, I can do. Why not I can try at least? And that's why I try. And of course, I follow my dream. That's why I did this all. And now, even when I look at my property and what I did now, I sometimes I feel like I really did this all. I couldn't believe what has happened. But if you don't try, you don't know. That's why I'm just trying this all. You see, there's a round here, there's a lot of Tharu people are living. Tharu are the original people from Chetong and they live here. But nowadays, slowly you can see the different level. Because Thai people, they think we are always poor. Oh, we, are, we don't know. Oh, we are, we, are, we, we are really a small person. No, we don't believe that. I don't believe that. This is not the right. We human beings, we are the same. Okay, this is a big tourism area now here. But still, these local people don't get any benefit. But how they get benefit means we have to protect their culture. Because nowadays, people slowly, culture start to disappear. And also, these people have nothing. And then, of course, what I, when I travel Europe, I see there is everything in Europe. And then it's still the children sitting behind the computer and they still complain, they want this and they want this. And there's no any friendship and cooperation together. And here, his children are playing outside, but they have nothing, but they are very happy. <laughs> That's quite a crew. small bridge playground will be the there and then uh, other side of our land it will be the col uh, college like kind of 10 plus you know nice high school all right yeah that was the dream but now it's starting with smaller <laughs> yeah. even you see we try to protect this uh, taru culture and try to be save this culture and to be make them people here taru local people to be proud to become that be taru you know to help them to make their plan to to help them to find the way and this is the way I help other people. But uh, somehow, one day also, of course, I will die. And But I, what is happening here, this will be still behind. And I want other people also again take over. You know, this is the, like a round, soccer. This is moving. And we cannot stop for that.
Amen. Amen.